Welcome back to the channel, Coin Enthusiasts. Today we are diving into a treasure trove of US quarters that may be hiding right in your pocket, change jar, or coin collection. These quarters might seem like your everyday pocket change, but they could actually be worth hundreds, even thousands of dollars if you find the right ones. In this video, we'll be covering the 1994 peak quarter dollar, 1990 peak quarter dollar, 1985 peak quarter dollar, 1996 D quarter dollar, 1960 quarter dollar, 1969 quarter dollar, 1983 D quarter dollar, and the 1984 peak quarter dollar. Each one of these coins has the potential to surprise you with its hidden value, whether it's due to rare minting errors, condition, or sheer rarity. So buckle up as we explore each of these coins in detail, and who knows? You might just discover that you've been sitting on a small fortune all along. 1994 P quarter dollar. The 1994 P quarter dollar is a coin that many of us have probably come across without giving it much thought. It was minted in Philadelphia, and in circulated condition, it's generally worth face value. But don't let that fool you, this coin can be worth a lot more if found in the right condition. For collectors, the key to unlocking the value of the 1994 P quarter is its mint state MS65 condition or higher. A quarter in this pristine, uncirculated state can fetch up to $150. However, the real treasure lies in error coins. Error varieties such as off-center strikes, die breaks, or the elusive double die error can push the value of this coin much higher. In some cases, error coins have been auctioned off for more than $500. If you're lucky enough to come across a 1994 peak quarter dollar in near perfect condition or one with a rare minting error, you're looking at a coin that can substantially increase in value. So always check your quarters carefully, you might just have a gem in your collection. That's the 1994 peak quarter, but hold on, you won't want to miss the next coin on our list, the 1990 peak quarter dollar, which has some rare varieties that collectors are eager to get their hands on. 2. 1990 peak quarter dollar. Next up is the 1990 peak quarter dollar, another coin minted in Philadelphia. Now, you might be thinking, it's just another common quarter, but like the 1994 P, this coin can be worth much more than face value if it's in mint state condition. A 1990 P quarter dollar in MS65 or higher can sell for up to $150. What's more, there are several error varieties for this year that can make the coin even more valuable. The most sought after errors include double die errors, where some of the coin's design elements are doubled, and off center strikes, which occur when the die strikes the coin off alignment. Collectors have been known to pay upwards of $300 or more for these error coins, especially if the coin is in mint condition. So always keep an eye out for any irregularities when you come across a 1990p quarter. It could be worth far more than you think. Speaking of valuable coins, wait until you hear about the 1985p quarter dollar, which also has its own share of rare errors that could turn an ordinary quarter into a collector's dream. 3. 1985p quarter dollar Moving on to the 1985p quarter dollar. This coin was also minted in Philadelphia and holds a lot of potential for collectors. In circulated condition, the 1985 P quarter is worth its face value of 25 cents, but if you find one in MS65 or higher condition, it could be worth between $50 and $200. One of the key factors that can boost the value of this quarter is the presence of error varieties. Some of the most valuable errors include off-center strikes, double dies, and even die breaks. These types of minting mistakes can drive the price of this coin up significantly, with some error coins fetching as much as $300 to $400 at auction. For those hunting for valuable coins, the 1985p quarter dollar is one to watch. Whether it's a high-grade coin or one with a significant minting error, this quarter can surprise you with its value. But the surprises don't stop there. The next coin on our list, the 1996d quarter dollar, minted in Denver, could hold some unexpected value too. Let's dive into that one next. 4. 1996 D quarter dollar. Now let's take a look at the 1996 D quarter dollar, which was minted in Denver. Like the other coins on our list, the value of this coin dramatically increases if it's in mint state condition MS65 or higher. In uncirculated, pristine condition, the 1996 D quarter dollar could be worth anywhere from $50 to $150. But the true value comes from rare error coins. 1996 D quarters with errors like off-center strikes or double dies can bring in big money from collectors. Some error coins have been sold for $300 or more, depending on the rarity and condition of the error. If you happen to find a 1996 D quarter in mint condition or one with a rare minting error, don't underestimate its potential value. This could be a hidden gem in your collection. And speaking of hidden gems, the 1969 quarter dollar might seem like an ordinary coin, but in certain conditions, it can be worth a small fortune. Let's check it out. 5. 1969 quarter dollar. 
The 1969 quarter dollar is an interesting coin that was minted during a time when quarters were no longer made from silver. While this coin is fairly common in circulated condition, it becomes much more valuable in mint state Mississippi 65 or higher. In such pristine condition, a 1969 quarter could fetch upwards of $200. Moreover, error varieties for this coin are highly sought after. Coins with off-center strikes, double dies, or other minting mistakes can be worth several hundred dollars. Some error coins have sold for as much as $500 at auction, especially if the coin is in exceptional condition. Don't overlook the 1969 quarter dollar, it might just hold more value than you think. Now, let's move on to the 1983D quarter dollar, another coin that could be a gold mine if you find it in the right condition. You won't want to miss this one. 6. 1983D quarter dollar The 1983D quarter dollar, minted in Denver, is another great example of a coin that can fetch more than its face value if it's in uncirculated condition. In MS65 or higher, this coin can be worth between $50 and $200. As with the other quarters we've discussed, error varieties are where the big money is. Errors such as die cracks, off-center strikes, and double dies can increase the value of this coin dramatically. Some error coins have sold for over $400, depending on the rarity of the error and the coin's overall condition. So be sure to check any 1983D quarters you come across carefully. You might have a valuable error coin in your hands. Lastly, let's talk about the 1984P quarter dollar, another seemingly common coin that could be hiding some serious value. 7. 1984p quarter dollar The 1984p quarter dollar, minted in Philadelphia, might look like an ordinary quarter, but it's anything but that. In mint state condition MS65 or higher, this coin can be worth up to $150 or more. Error coins are the real prize, though. Double die errors, off-center strikes, and other rare minting mistakes can make this quarter worth hundreds of dollars. Error coins from 1984 have been known to sell for as much as $500 or more, depending on their condition and the specific type of error. So if you ever come across a 1984p quarter, make sure to inspect it closely for any errors or signs of pristine condition. It could be worth far more than just 25 cents. So there you have it, seven quarters that could potentially be worth much more than their face value. From rare minting errors to high-grade coins, each of these quarters has the potential to be a hidden treasure. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, it's always worth taking a closer look at the coins you come across. You never know what valuable gems you might find. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more coin collecting tips and insights.